Are you drinking water? <laughs> That's moonshine, pal. Oh. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. Corbin. Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Patreon, follow us on your Twitter account. Ring the bell to be part of the notification squad. Bye. Bite me. Good. He's dead. Just uh, kidding. Uh, today we are doing a movie review uh, because that's what we do. That was a good beat, actually. Anyways, <laughs> uh, but yes, we uh, found out just the other day. They were like, "We haven't watched the Ren Veer movie in a while," and so we were a like, "We missed this time. fellow." And I know you yeah. guys have been recommending us Lutera for a long, long time, uh, oh. and so we finally, finally watched Lutera. What were you going to say? Was that what we were? Oh, was that what we were supposed to watch? Because I just oh. watched Gully Boy again. Oh, did you? <laughs> I just fill in the dots. <laughs> I'll make something up. <laughs> okay. Once again, 100% spoiler review. That's what we do. Yes, if you haven't seen it, go it. watch it. Spoil you. Come back and then watch the review if you want. If you just if you like being spoiled, you're a naughty, naughty boy. You uh, like it. Thanks for uh, being here. Uh, read the synopsis. Do you have it in front of you? The IMDb synopsis. Yes. Yes. <sighs> It says it's an aristocrat. We start that over. An aristocrat's daughter falls in love with a visiting archaeologist, but he holds a secret that could drive them apart. Mm. Well done. Yeah, good doesn't synopsis. Give, doesn't give anything away. I like that. Uh, directed by, say his name for me, Rick, please. Yes. Um, last name is Motwani, I think. First name, forgive me if I mispronounce this, sir. I believe it is Vikramaditya. And he, Vikramaditya. Was also, he was also the director of Udan. Uh, really? Yeah, same director. Well, no wonder it was so good. This is uh, also written by Anurad Kashyap. Uh, the mm -hmm. the die, so that makes sense. So again, produced by Anurad yep. Kashyap, composed by yep. Amit Trivedi, uh, yep. and then obviously starring our boy Ranveer Singh. Uh, yeah. And uh, say her name for me, Rick, please. Uh, and yes, again, if I mispronounce, I hope I don't mispronounce her wonderful name, but I believe that the proper pronunciation is Sonakshi Sinha. And then Bar say say the father's name. Uh, Barun Chada, who of, is a, apparently a Bengali star. Gotcha. And yeah. I want to say something off the bat about that. I recognized that they were in Bengal before they said it. <laughs> And I was very <laughs> proud of myself. I it was like be. it was like the first five minutes, and a guy walked on screen. I was like, he looks Bengali to me. Look at you. I think it was because he looked like the father in uh, in Apu uh, when he was wearing the round okay. glasses, mm -hmm. and that's what he looked like. And I was like, he looks like uh, from Apu. I wonder if this is been in Bengal, and then it was. Yeah. And so I was proud of myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as you should be <laughs> anyways were you excited when you found out that it was going to be taking place and uh yeah had Johnny had Johnny seen this film she saw it when it was uh in theaters yes okay gotcha okay yep. so your, your initial thoughts Rick uh I my initial thoughts are I think this is a wonderful movie I loved it I have a very few little nitpicky things that don't even really mean anything because mm -hmm. the most I have to do is rave about this at a bunch of levels. I just yeah. think this is a really good movie. Yeah, I think I think so too. I I, I I really enjoyed this film. It's a a romance movie, if you want to say that, with a little bit of Stockholm syndrome in there, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> which uh, you know I love. Um, but uh, I, I, <laughs> yeah. you should have a shirt that says "I love Stockholm syndrome." <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, uh, yeah, so I, I enjoyed that, um, and I, I, let's just talk about Ranveer, because, you know, he's our, he's our guy. Yeah. Probably the most subtle performance, even more subtle than Gully Boy, I think, uh, of, of his, uh, that we've seen of him. Yeah. And it's so, because he almost disappeared in how subtle he was, which was... That was... Uh, 
which is what I thought was so brilliant about him in this film is just like because you know his big personality when you know Ranveer you're like you're expecting Ranveer you're expecting his big in Padmavat you're expecting him in Bajji Ramastani uh, even sometimes in Gully Boy he, he, he goes out even though he's pretty and subdued. Ramlila yeah he's yep. pretty subdued there this he was almost not Ranveer in this and yeah. he almost didn't look like because he didn't have the beard the full time and so sometimes it just didn't look like Ranveer a little bit um, mm-hmm. So I, I, this was one of my favorite performances of his, actually, uh, because I agree. of how subtle it was, and I think it was a huge stretch for him. Uh, it had to be. Well, actually, I don't know. He's a great actor, so it's like I don't know if anything's really a stretch for him. I, I, I think that man is a, a really gifted actor, um, but I think this performance of his was just so subtle and really grounded and different, and he never went over the top of uh, what, like, trying to display something, trying to, um, and you never knew what he was thinking in it, if he was actually wanting to do this, or if he was feeling bad about it, which I think is an attestment to the writing and his acting. Um, and so, go on, what would you want to say about him? Yeah, the, that was the first note that I wrote, was right off the bat, was he's gully boy small. Yeah. Uh, and then and then got smaller. Um, mm-hmm. I felt, uh I felt he had a lot to work with that was really a testament to the writing and the, the directing in terms of the turn it takes in the, in, the, in the second half by allowing him to play the more complicated side of the character and express that aspect of the character. It's a very uh, complex character. Mm-hmm. Um, and he got to carry some of that complexity in the silences at the beginning. Yeah. Um, and you you know in retrospect you can go back and recognize what that character is dealing with when he's falling in love with her so yeah i just another just great notch on the belt as far as i was concerned for him and she i thought she was just wonderful yeah and i think this is the first time we've seen her i believe unless i'm totally and utterly wrong let me see here i believe it's the first because i didn't i didn't fully recognize her uh, if we have, I think we've seen her in something where she just had a very small role. I don't think uh, we've seen her in anything large. We have seen her in the song uh, Gandhi Bot. She was in that film. Gandhi Bot. Oh. Gandhi, Gandhi, Gandhi. So she was in that song, but we didn't see that film. We just saw no, that. No, no, no. We just saw the, her. Yeah. Like, a couple songs from that movie. Uh, we've got seen it, her got in it, that got one. it. But yeah, other got than it. that, I think she did really, really well as well. She, um, she did really, like, I was because I was trying to sometimes critique her at certain points because I thought at some points she was being too big. But then I was like, I don't know. I think that's actually just her. I think that's the character. Uh, and she's very emotional at times. Uh, and so and so I, I at first I was like, I don't know. Is she sometimes being too much? Because normally she was really good and grounded just like Ranveer. But then sometimes I was questioning whether I liked it or not, but then I, I, I went back uh, and I was like, I think that's just who the character is. She's a very emotional person, uh, especially yeah. with what Ranveer did to her, basically. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, so yep. yeah, you want to talk more about it? Yeah, well, and she was very, she was believable as Bengali. She had uh, a, the, the, the stereotypical Bengali actress and movie stars, historically, I have learned. Uh, and what is historically feminine beauty in Bengali actresses is uh, very round faces. So that's the first thing that I've learned to look for of an actress on film who's portraying a Bengali woman is oftentimes if they have that stereotypical Bengali round face. So she was physically believable to me as Bengali. And just the way that they carried themselves and what we've come to learn about Bengal, and obviously with my uh, extreme bias toward... What is that? that what is that your, part what of is India, your bias? Um, that she was, I, I just felt that she was wonderful. I thought that she was um, grounded again. Um, mm-hmm. Very everything that Anurag Kashyap puts his hands on, mm-hmm. it's almost like the minute you get started, he like it, he says to everybody, "Okay, it's grounded, and we're not doing it." So, yeah. you all on board? <laughs> Realism, or we're not doing it. I mean, everything he touches, whether he produces, writes, or directs, it's just got this grounded believable realism i fully believe that these two people were real people who fell in love i believe the dad was who he was um and our buddy who played the cop who we first were introduced to in rozzy oh yeah 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 i didn't even notice that was him but yeah you're right yeah, yeah. that's what 
first met him was in Rozzy. He's always good. I, I, I totally didn't even make that connection. Yeah, no, yeah, they were all great. The dad was phenomenal. I thought the dad did really, really well. Uh, he, you said he's a famous Bengali actor? Yes. Uh, the dad, uh, the dad. that's what Indrani told me. She said, I think that was one of the big reasons that a lot of people there in Calcutta wanted to see it. I mean, obviously, they had heard a lot about Ranveer and this how, how good he was in this. Um, and they were excited for that and obviously excited for the fact that this took place in West Bengal and that he, the dad, is a very famous, apparently, soap actor in, in Bengali soap operas. Gotcha. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he was great. I loved him. I thought he was... Extremely believable, and and you he, he probably has a theater background. I, I'd imagine. He, I would he, imagine he does. He seems yeah, like, he, he sure seems, seems like, like it. That. Um, so yeah, yeah. They're, they're great. Every almost everybody in the entire cast was great. The the uh, detective, like you were saying uh, before, the the best friend, he was good, uh, mm -hmm. and all that. So I think everybody. I think the songs were so so beautiful, uh, and, and we heard I think only one of them, right? Uh, the yeah. one a couple weeks back, uh, but it's I'm a Trivedi, so that makes sense. Every single song was super, super emotional and 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 beautiful, and I love the entire score. I don't know if you want to say anything about that, but a hundred percent. I wrote this down early. I wrote this score is just simply gorgeous, yeah. and all of the songs are beautiful, and I felt like the score got even more beautiful. It, and it reminded me, oftentimes he he was pulling some interesting asian touches that almost remind me of some of the things that were done in the score of the last samurai without becoming so asian that it left the realm of india you know it was mm -hmm. just this um just it was so so beautiful i thought um one of the most beautiful scores i think we've heard yeah it was yeah so and so good i loved how the director gave us two not only did the script provide us two completely different kinds of stories from the first half and the second half but the director was so good in changing the tone everything about the tone the whole it's almost like he had a completely different vision from the from the production design team and the art direction and even the choices he used on his lenses yeah uh, just the, the, the beginning felt like the warmth and expansiveness of Lagan, and the second half felt like it had some of the the, the grittiness and, and rough edges that are in some of the more uh, crime story stuff that yeah. we see. Yeah, and uh, that goes to a testament of, I forget that, you say the director's name, I cannot say that, and I don't want to butcher it again. Yeah, um, let me get back to it again, because I don't remember it verbatim, but his name is... Uh, Vikramaditya Matwani, I believe. Yeah. Vikramaditya Matwani. I think he did a masterful job of uh, doing a film that um, no, normally you would, uh, you know, it's a romance film and you could go just one way with it, but he decided to do some twists and some turns uh, with it that I appreciated. Um, and I think that scene where they were running and they were trying to escape from the police, that was actually mm -hmm. like a really good action scene like like great the scene, sequence it was great sequence the cuts and the 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 jumps uh to each of the things to make it seem like they were going through all out the city was really good and flawless uh and i that was a, a phenomenal scene uh yeah and i so i thought that yeah, like I, you, like you said it, it almost changed it was a drama and then almost turned to like an action um kind of chase like car car chase but on on foot uh yeah so a foot chase um <laughs> but yeah i thought he did a really good job but uh do you want to say anything about the director yeah i mean that's just i felt everything he did was masterful in terms of the way he kept us engaged with the tone the editing pacing uh and and that's a risky thing to do uh and keep it feel like it's the same film and keep you engaged i thought <laughs> was one of the best intermission breaks ever. Yeah, uh, that, that was a really good intermission break. Like great intermission break. Because uh, you're you're finding out the reveal, uh, which is actually a, a, a great thing you did. Because the only gripe I really have with the film is that it was a tad bit predictable. Um, not all the time. There were some really good parts, but and then I kind of went back on that though because I can't think of a, a romantic movie that isn't predictable. Because you kind of just know mm. they're going to be together. Mm. Like right. <laughs> Like I can't. Yeah, there, 
Uh, well, even even Bonnie and uh, Bonnie and Clyde, right? They they're together in the end. Uh, yeah, well, they, they either live together or they die together. But in this one, uh, I I it didn't end the way I predicted when I was watching it. Yeah. Um, well, how do you think? I thought I thought they were going to die in the bed together, like her of TB, tuberculosis, and then yeah, the, no, the and then him of his wound. That's what I thought it was going to end. Yeah, up. no, the minute the minute he said to her. Um, the last leaf in that tree isn't going to fall. I promise you that. I immediately thought and put in my notes, he's going to go put a fake leaf up in the tree. Yeah. Um, what I didn't see coming was a really nice touch was the flashback she had to when they were painting and he's putting the leaf on the trees in that position. What I thought was going to happen, I thought he was going to climb up into the tree. She was going to see him doing it and the cop was going to show up and shoot him out of the tree. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought that for for a minute too. He also doesn't know how to climb trees. Uh, <laughs> like, why would you put your footing on the weakest branch? <laughs> Maybe he's never climbed a tree before, Corbin. It's uh, it's possible. and it was snowing and it was windy. It was slippery. Uh, You're right. I'm sorry. It, it was very slippery. There was probably you know there was insects in the tree that were making him feel a tad bit off put. <laughs> Um, yeah. I, yeah. I, something I really appreciated in the script because up until this point I'm about to reference um, I kind of was rooting for somebody to kill him because yeah. what he did what he did to her and her dad I didn't see it coming and I couldn't believe he did that to them but when he starts to share with her toward the very end of the film his monologue about growing up his uncle was the only one who took care of him, and it's the only life he ever knew. Mm -hmm. But no one ever loved him. She's the first person who ever loved him, and he didn't know how to respond to that. And was really struggling with that and felt a sense of remorse and pain for what he had done for probably the first time in his life. So there came this kind of a redemption of his character by the fact that he, I felt he was genuine in his admission to her of the reason I am what I am, I'm not giving it as an excuse, it's just an explanation. I've, I've never known love until I met you. And so to have someone love me unconditionally and me love them back is something I never imagined I would ever have. Um, and I thought that was a beautiful turn and that's a, a credit to the writing team. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I went back and forth on whether I, I am, you know, I always want people to die. So, um, <laughs> I think I was always rooting for them to die. Uh, I thought, I thought she was going to die with him. Like I did uh, too. I thought it was going to be Romeo I, and Juliet. Yeah, yeah, like a Romeo yeah. and Juliet or a or Bonnie and Clyde situation, um, something like that. That's so. I thought. Yeah. I was hoping it was going to be that, but then you wouldn't have that reveal at the end where she sees that he's been putting up the leaves every single day. Uh, that she's been that she's been there, um, so that was that was a pretty sweet moment. It was almost it was almost like a Notebook type movie, uh, but with murder. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> with Tara, it's a Notebook kind of movie with murder. See, that should be the synopsis. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, but I really really enjoyed it. It's probably one of my favorite yeah. romance movies that we've seen. Um, in in India, it, I mean, it helps that he's just freaking gorgeous, um, but yeah, I, I can't. Hmm, I'm trying to think of other romance. I mean, I love Ramlila. You know, I love Ramlila. Uh, yeah, this one is a different. Ramlila is a is a far more uh, campy, over the yeah. top kind of thing, and you know the story where it's going because it's going to be a Romeo and Juliet kind of thing. Um, this this felt more. I don't know that you'll like the comparison I'm about to give you. Mm. Think about what I'm about to say without the acting difference we feel. But it felt more like Devdas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the acting. No, I'm not. I'm just, I don't think like think that. About, I... Think of, there's a tree in the end. There's somebody dies. The guy dies at a tree at the end. There's that sense of wishing they could be together, but they couldn't be together. So that's the closest thing I would compare the 
It's just relational oh, it's romance way better story. Than Dev Doss. I don't care what anybody says. It's way better than Dev Doss. <laughs> like a thousand percent. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, Dev Doss was beautiful. I'll give it that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I would uh, a thousand percent recommend this movie. Uh, oh yes, go watch this movie. Uh, it's so so good. I like this director a lot. Uh, a lot. He, so he's done. Uh, he didn't direct Dev. No, that's Sanjay. But he worked on Dev Doss. What was he on Dev Dust? Who, the director? Yeah, the director. Oh. Um, what's, what does it say? I don't know. Interesting that I referenced Dev Dust and there his name popped up in Dev Dust. Was he an assistant? Was he an AD? Let me check. And it's the SRK Dev Dust we're talking about, right? SRK, yeah. Ashwari yeah, Rai. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was associate director and sound designer. So he was AD and, and sound designer. So he was involved with that story. Interesting. Uh, he was a writer in Dev D. He directed Udan. He was a producer of Queen. He was a producer of Ugly. He was a producer of Man. Uh, uh, okay. He was a producer of Masan. So he's in these. He's in the. Uh, I mean, uh, um, Anirag Kashyap Anirag. family. Yeah. Uh, producer of Uta Punjab. So, yeah, he's a big Makes time. Sense. Yeah, he's a big time partner with uh, Anurag. Interesting. Well, I loved and, it. And that score, man. Just yeah. what a gorgeous, gorgeous score. The score was amazing. Yeah, well, great. Let movie. us know what we should watch next down below. Any, anything, Bollywood, Tollywood, Collywood, uh, Malalium, anything. I don't care. Bengali. Uh, you know, yeah. You know we don't care. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to Renvir's next film, 83, whenever that comes out into theaters. Uh, yes. Who knows? But let us know what we should watch down below, and let us know what you thought about this movie. Thank you. Two. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for